a really important challenge to, uh, to get our profile higher, to match some of the more high profile specialties like uh, cardiology and the like. Um, and I think uh, we, we, we also want to uh, inform the public that not only do we have expertise in managing these conditions, but also we, we're the premier researchers uh, in these conditions and we want to be advocates for our patients as well. So uh, whatever we can do to raise the profile of the profession I think is important. So meetings like this are important, um, but also finding other ways to get our message across to the public and, uh, and our advertising challenge was, was one of the ways that we'd like to do that. Compared to the burden of disease, um, of, of musculoskeletal diseases, that funding in Australia uh, is really low. Um, so uh, we published a study in the MJA last year that showed that uh, NH&M RC funding for clinical trials in musculoskeletal disease represents less than 1% of total NH&M RC funding, whereas the burden of disease of rheumatic disease is extremely high. Low back pain, for example, is the highest burden um, condition of, of all medical conditions, um, and uh, both in Australia and globally, musculoskeletal disease has a huge burden. So we'd like to, uh, to really be able to advocate for, for gaining more more research funding for these really important diseases. There's no doubt that the Australian rheumatology research community punches above its weight. Um, for, the, for our degree of funding we have a large impact on the, on the international research community and uh, I have no doubt that, it, that as we continue to get uh, better funding for our research that we can set, out, set the bar even higher. We've had a number of aims in, in, in this conference. It's um, uh, like all ARA conferences, it's, um, it's a really great opportunity to um, meet together to renew old acquaintances and to, to learn what's new in rheumatic disease. Um, but most importantly, what we've tried to do in this conference is to bring together some of the best speakers and some of the best thinkers in rheumatic disease from around Australia and around the world and really challenge our members to think about things in new ways. So not just to, to learn new things, but to also challenge their long-held beliefs uh, and hopefully inspire new ideas and new ways of thinking about uh, rheumatic disease.